Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On and welcome to another edition of 7 O'Clock Spurs. First news tonight, our young Serbian starlet Milos Velkovic has told us that he will not be signing a new contract when his current deal ends in the summer. As you all probably know, he is a Serbian under-19 international who won the under-20 or the under-20 World Cup back in the summer and he's seen as one of our great hopes, but he has said he doesn't want to stay. I guess he feels he's not getting enough opportunities with the first team squad. In my opinion, this is a massive shame because obviously we know we've got lots of great young players coming through the academy and we're starting to lose a few of them. In the summer, we lost Ishmael Azui, uh, who's gone over to Germany. And I don't think we should be losing these players. Daniel Levy should really be making sure they're getting the money and the time uh, and the opportunities to keep them at the club. Guys, let us know what you think about that in the comments. Is it something we should be worrying about in a big way? Second bit of news today, Glenn Hoddle has spoken out after last night's England win against France and has said that Deli Alley is not just a player for the future of England, he is a player for the present. And he says he thinks Deli Alley can be a huge star at the Euros in the summer. Other Deli Alley news today is what a surprise. Scores a goal for England last night and the transfer vo uh, vultures are circling. According to ESPN, Paris Saint-Germain are keeping tabs on him. To me, that sounds a little bit like, oh, he scored a goal against France. He's played well against France. Paris Saint-Germain must be interested. It seems too early, too soon for that, if you ask me. What I do think, though, is Deli Ali's agent probably on the phone to Daniel Levy last night saying, let's get a meeting in the book. And final bit of news today is DeAndre Yedlin has done an interview where he said that joining Spurs has been the first roadblock in his career to date. He said uh, in terms of his career so far, he was brilliant, uh, did well at Seattle Sounders and got into the American team, played in the World Cup and everything was going smoothly. And then he joined Spurs and maybe he thought that he would get into the first team straight away, but obviously that hasn't happened and he's out on loan at Sunderland at the moment. All things considered though, apparently doing a good job at Sunderland, he started the last five Premier League games for them. So good news for Spurs and good news for Sunderland if you ask me. And maybe DeAndre, if you keep working hard, that roadblock will be cleared. Guys, let's know what you think of all those news stories in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on you Spurs. It was an incredible performance from Spurs. Arsenal will be looking at themselves right now. They'll be saying, you know, we've got nine or ten injuries.